So, in this uh, part of the tutorial, we're going to work on the wings and the tail fins a little bit more. We're actually going to create the fin parts of the aircraft, the uh, ailerons and the rudders and such. So, let's work on the, um, the fin part of this aircraft here. So, select the uh, tail fin and then click on Editable Poly. What we want to do is select our Edge command and select the top edges, click on ring so it rings all the edges and click on connect and we want to move our our line right at the very edge of our uh, of our tail fin. Uh, select um, smooth plus highlights, click on wireframe select um, vertex mode here and select our vertexes and align them properly. These can be aligned a little bit better as well. What we can do is we can select our polygon mode and we want to select just these polygons. And what you want to do is we're going to detach You can detach to element, click OK, and then move this slightly away. Now to keep the shape properly, what we're going to do is um, select edge, drag a selection box around all of these edges here, and we're going to give it two segments with a pinch of 90 and I think that should do it. Let's just test it out. Turbo smooth. And you should have a fairly nice fin blade for your aircraft. The gap there is a little bit big, so let's see if we can close that up a little bit. That's a bit better. So, pretty much do the exact same thing on all of the wings here. The nice thing about the air aircraft is all you have to do it uh, do is do one side of the aircraft and the other one gets updated automatically. Select polygon mode, detach to element, move it away slightly, select edge mode, and we're going to give this two segments at pinch of 90. And we should have some nice tail flaps. So let's do the wings now. So to work on the wings, what we do 
is we click on Editable Poly. Uh, we're going to click on Element. I'm going to select our aircraft body. Scroll down to the bottom here and click on Hide Selected. So it just hides the whole body so we can work just on the wings here. Next, click on Edge Mode and we're going to hold Alt and press X again to make the wings invisible. So next, let's create the line that goes along here. So we're going to select these, select these edges here, and then click on Connect. Um, and let's let's uh, set it up so that it is let's see a seg two segments, a pinch of 44, let's say. And then we can click on our vertex and align the vertexes appropriately. And to um, to 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 do the lines here, let's slice this in half. Select those. We'll click on connect, and we're just going to say one segment this time and a slide of let's say 30 and we'll do that over here another slide of about 75 so you can see the um, the little cutout right there for this one we could actually just select this um, edge right here click on loop and we can chamfer it. So click on the chamfer settings and that looks pretty good. A one uh, chamfer, um, edge chamfer amount is one and the connect edge segment is one. So that looks fairly nice. And then for this part here, let's get the body back. So we're going to click on element and then we're going to click on unhide all once again and then we're going to click on edge again and let's select these edges here and we'll click on connect and let's slide it all the way to about there so that's uh, negative 22 so next let's get our polygon um, selection tool and we'll select this and we'll Detach to element. Move this out slightly. And do the same to this one here. Detach element. And detach element. And then we'll select both of these and move these out just slightly. So next, to make them um, keep their shape, let's select all of these. Click on Connect. Um, we're going to we're going to give this a pinch of 90 and a segments of two. And you keep on doing that for both these edges, both these sides. And if we turbo smooth our aircraft, we should see some fairly nice looking ailerons.